Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done it already, please click the subscribe button. Follow me on social media at Off The Canvas Boxing on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. All of the social media links are in the description box below. Okay, thanks for all of you guys for tuning in to the live stream last Saturday. That was absolutely amazing. Literally guys, like it was a cracking fight with Warrington versus Lara, I think his name is Lara, Maurizio Lara. Um, and yeah, like huge, huge upset. This week you've got Josh Taylor versus Avenisiev. That was going to be a huge fight as well. But in this video, we're going to be talking specifically about judges, okay? Now, this has been a hot topic over the last couple of weeks. Eddie Hearn erupted last week after the Zelf Barrett performance where he lost I think it was Kikon Martinez who was his opponent. It was so close, but one of the judges, or in fact two of the judges, scored this as like a wide decision to um, Zelfa Barrett. Some of the recent um, fights that have occurred with poor judging, I've literally just written a, a couple on, on the list as well. Daniel Dubois versus Joe Joyce fight. Now, a lot of people remember that for Daniel Dubois quitting in that fight, however, some of the judges in that fight, I don't know if it was one or two of them, had Daniel Dubois winning that fight at the point of him getting knocked down. I was watching the fight live here, yeah, what from the TV screen, nice and clearly. And I could tell you, categorically, at the time of me, I was scoring the fight as well. He, he, he was losing the fight. He was losing the fight by at least one or two rounds. Um, and by that stage, we're in round 10. So he would have lost that round, round 10. He would have lost round 11 and he would have lost round 12 so you, you see what i'm saying here like some of the some of the judges at that point of him quitting had him winning the fight which was absurd for me moreover we've had like i said the zelfa barrett, zelfa barrett versus Kiko martinez fight which we don't really need to get into um but the shannon courtney versus rachel ball one last year a lot of people are forgetting about this this was on i believe the dylan white card or earlier in the fight camp uh, it was the sort of the second or third week of the fight camp where it was shannon courtney versus rachel ball and shannon courtney won convincingly however the judges gave it to rachel ball in the end you know it, it was a sad it was a sad event florian market versus jamie stewart i think it's his name jamie stewart yeah that one was like an absolute rubber and you even saw it after the fight okay i'm gonna insert the clip here do you know boxing this is boxing i was beating him every single round when i wanted when i didn't want to go in the war with him to trade to take my 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 uh, my, my endurance again up i was moving he was not hitting me again he was hitting me in the gloves i don't know i'm really really disappointed you know with this referee with the judges everything i know why they give you the draw because i'm from albania that, that, that's all. I don't know. This referee, it was not, it was not with, 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 with me. The only reason that he cannot give me this fight, it was because this is, he didn't like me. I don't know what else to say. You even saw it. The look on Florian Marcus' face when, he, when the fight was, uh, when the decision was made. And also the reaction of him and Don Charles during the, um, during the press conference or during the the interview afterwards was they were like we're gonna write a letter of complaint to the boxing board of control because this is an absolute disgrace okay and um, Hassan like did a job but, but you know what I'm saying um, and that one was a mad fight Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury in the first fight they gave that a draw uh, most people probably had to, to Tyson Fury winning that fight and that was another case of incompetent judges so over the last couple of years, and I, there's probably a lot more out there that I completely forgot to write down, okay? But there's a lot of, lot of fights out there that the judges have been literally robbing the winning fighter, okay? Yo guys, if you haven't done it already, please head over to my YouTube channel at Off The Canvas Boxing, search up on YouTube, click the subscribe button, put on your post notifications, we're very very close to 100 subs guys, so let's get clicking guys, exercise those thumbs. We've got to think about solutions for this, okay? A lot of people are thinking about different ways in which they, they can overcome this problem, okay? Some people are just plain and simple, black and white, get rid of the judges and get some new ones in. It's time to go! Okay, however, 
it still leaves the room for error in my opinion okay in my opinion one of the things that should be should be done is they they should re not retrain but they should go through a test okay I like a yearly test box the border control and one of their like the, their best judges or the best two judges that they've had that have made great decisions they should line them all up together and they should literally just say to the guys we're going to give you you're going to be invigilators okay we're going to give you a fight that's happening like bulgaria or something you know the way they are happening in singapore okay two random fighters okay i want you guys to, i want you to score this fight like you would do in any 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 fight you know any live event okay and they watch it they watch it they will call they will liaise with each other and it was okay this fight should be i don't know 116 114 to that fighter okay they both discussed it that should be the mark if, if they have you know slightly higher or slightly lower they can give that okay they should then hand that test to all of the the, the current judges and you know what they should do is sit them all down like it's an exam room they should all watch that fight we're all in silence they all, all should watch that fight and they should all mark it round by round and then give it to the exam examiner and it, or giving it to the um the people who are going to you know what's the what are they called fam the, 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 the invigilators yeah give it to the invigilators yeah and then wait for their results fam yeah and the ones that get shit results here yeah, should be cut fam. literally the ones that get poor results here yeah, should be cut or, or, or labor cut should be no not not allowed to train on the on the big stages or they should say to the promoters look we you could you could choose from category a uh, pr uh, uh judges but they're going to cost a bit more or category c judges which make a couple of a bit more mistakes but they're a lot cheaper okay you choose you know the way there another thing yeah a referees forum yeah this one is a bit weird yeah I have to explain this a bit further, okay? Because a lot of people will be thinking, what the hell are you on about, man? Yeah, are you tapped? But what I mean by this here, let me take a look at that. What I mean by this is having the referees, all of the referees that are in or not registered under the British Boxing Board of Control, yeah, every fight, have them be a part of like some sort of technology or some sort of app where they can watch the fight and use their i don't know referee badge number log into um the, the internet they are allowed to watch the fight from home but their stream has got no sound yet not no sound i mean their stream's got like no commentary okay and after each round they've got like a little box here on the side that says what do you score this round what do you score this round yeah and then the judges that are currently at the game or at the fight yeah if one of their judges if one of their scorecards is is absolutely crazy yeah we're talking mad yeah then the 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 loser of a team could say okay we want to appeal this we want to go to like the public or what did the referees forum say and they can go up amongst that this would they'll be like i don't know a thousand referees are part of this forum all watching the fight at the exact same time they've all got the scores up and then the average of those scores through like a computerized system should be like um, should replace the judge that was moving nuts. You know that judge. Some of the the, the the judge that was a bit tapped here. They, that those scores should do it. a bit like X Factor and um, who else? Um, what's that jungle one? What's that jungle one? Um, ah, it's gonna bug me. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Yeah. Do you know how they cast in the books? They text this text. Uh, what text? Um. The name of the person you want to win two three four one six or whatever that thing is yeah they text it and that's how they cast the votes that's what they should do you know the way there more judge oh more judges or well, this is another solution that i'm that i'm proposing yeah now this was put eddie Hearn today on his live stream this morning or was it this afternoon i think it was this morning and he basically said more judges he weren't feeling it but he weren't thinking you see what i'm saying ed yeah sometimes he needs to take it in deep it and then say yes or no okay i understand from his perspective you know it costs more money to hire in like an extra one or two judges yeah i don't know who's paid for the wages whether it's the bricks of uh, uh, the british boxing board of patrol or it's the promoter don't know who's paying their wages in a nutshell but if there's more judges 
there's a higher chance of the the fight are not or, or the fight being scored fairly because there's more people or more um, judges in play. Okay, so let's say I don't know we've got three judges. Okay, one of them or two of them were moving mad. Yeah, two of them have lost their brains here, yeah? and they they have some mad scoring. Yeah, and there's only one 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 um, other judge left that has judged it really correctly then if you've got another two or another three um other other judges here then then you have more of a chance of them scoring it correctly and then the average will balance out a bit more okay so even if it's like one out of three that's always a bit mad what that one out of three may go up to one out of five okay that then that means that the scoring for the actual fight would be a lot more accurate and a lot more correct than what we see in this day and age okay those are like for me three amazing solutions yeah so that's more judges okay more judges i don't know five to seven judges and for me i i wouldn't even have them in one like in in the in the arena i'll have them in like some next other room yeah or in like some box where they can't it's a soundproof so you they can't hear the crowd they can't hear any commentary they can't hear anything yeah they should only be able to hear like just the thumps etc and and the instructions from the inside referee in the ring okay so more judges okay more three or five judges and them to be placed in another location outside of the ring so they don't get influenced by the crowd that's one number two okay uh, a referee's forum or referee's voting online system for them to uh, uh, vote every single time a fight occurs so that you can whoever whoever loses the fight they can appeal it and they can instead of using the fight day referees they can refer only to those referees that are um on, online or during the online forum and voted online okay with their badge numbers or their referee numbers okay you know what i do and then another option is retest this is a bare minimum here if you lot can't do this here then I don't know, you guys are EULPs family, yeah? enemy of progress. You should literally just be testing these referees every other, like, I'm not talking about, I'm talking regularly, yeah. Maybe you should have a, a, a yearly test, a quarterly test, I don't know what you guys want to do, yeah. Bring some next fight from in, in any division, not in the UK, at least a pro fight in like, I don't know, Sweden or something, televised show in Sweden. They should literally just referee, literally just watch that, watch the tape on the big screen, and score each round. All right, ten, ten to the first round, five nine, literally not five nine, but you know what I'm saying, yeah. I'm open for a change, guy. Yeah, this is what I'm on. Yeah, I don't want like people get robbed like all the time for fights that are like that they worked hard for. They put their life and like. They put their literally weeks of weeks of preparation into it to then go on the night and get robbed by by a, a, a judge that that's literally incompetent in my opinion okay um uh, these are some of the suggestions i'm you know good suggestions that i, that I have okay hopefully the british box their board control if they're watching this or one of your people are watching this send them to the gaffers fam send them to the ogs fam tell them listen yeah Ibs knows what he's talking about from off the canvas books and he knows what he's on yeah chat to him yeah or hear out his suggestions because they sound lit okay thank you very much guys for watching this video if you haven't done it already please like comment and subscribe we're really close to 100 subs so please subscribe if you haven't done it already peace love and prosperity guys and i'm gonna catch you guys in a bit peace